Hey everyone, so like I said on the last the ending of the last video there we're actually gonna do some uh, backup cams and what else? Oh CB radio and a dash camera. So so here are the actual cameras. Um, after doing all kinds of research, I realized even if I had wireless cameras, they still needed power. So I figured a wire system makes more sense since I have to run wires there anyhow. And now I don't have to worry about the, the signal drop in. So, and then we've got the dash cam, which just runs off the cigarette lighter. And for the cameras, it came with two. So this one's gonna go on the back of the truck. So I can actually see the trailer when I'm backing up because I can't see anything out of the back of my truck. And then this one's going to go on the trailer so I can see the load. And then also when I'm backing up uh, into parking spaces, etc. So here's the system we went with, the Fuku. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know if you, you can see that. Aim to your safety driving. So with all the Chinese money and power, you'd imagine they'd be able to... Uh, hire a translator to do their stuff but so the CB there's just it's a magnetic CB antenna I just ran the wire down and right under here under the passenger sink a seat there was a small plastic kind of pop out so I was able to cut a hole in that and then the wire runs up to here and then that's as far as it would go so that's gonna be the CB radio so that's gonna mount somewhere around there and the reason I'm doing the CB is just so I can, you know, hear some Democrats are out there protesting on the highway and then I can uh, do an alternate route or something. <laughs> and then here's the backup cam right here. So here's again, it's the Fuku. We're trying to figure out how to mount this up. We're probably just going to do some double sided 3M tape and maybe some couple of small set screws right there. But it just requires one wire down to the wire harness and then the wire harness is right here so I've already pulled off this panel inside the truck so we're just gonna run it down here onto that panel and it requires the ACC and then also the 12 volt power and that way I can have the power on the cameras at all times so even if I'm sitting parked at night I can see what's going on behind my truck um and what else okay so here are the cameras this channel one and channel two and what i'm going to do is run that same up that same wire hole right here and then i'm going to just going to go under this uh floor panel and come up right there with my two wires and then i'm going to figure out how to route underneath and then camera one's going to go right up there and what i'm going to do with that second wire that's 20 meters or whatever it is 60 feet I'm gonna have it coiled up right here and then I'm gonna hook it to I'm just gonna zip tie it to here and then I'll plug it into the camera once I hook up the trailer and then once I'm done and I unhook the trailer all I have to do is unplug it and we're good to go so that's what we got going on right now oh just to let you know I went to uh, Tallahassee yesterday it's about four hours there four hours back and I got my if the stickers done so we are 100% done, ready to go. We are leaving on Wednesday, and today is, what, today is Friday. So we're leaving on Wednesday for our first trip. All right. All right, so here we go. We dropped the dash panel right here, and um, I found this wire I don't know what it, it looks like it's running up the switch power and then it runs into the dash I don't know what it's for but because it's switch power that's no good for me because I wanted constant power so I just took this little wire right here and took off the side panel and I just ran it on the other side of the door seal and right up through the hood under the fender right up under the hood and I didn't do a very good job last time, but um, so this is the wire harness for the for the cameras So that goes up to the monitor and then coming out of it, like I said, it's got This green one they said if you wanted to attach It's called the trigger. I don't know what it's for but it was another option that I don't have So I don't even have to worry about the green one 
So if you wanted this to be on ignition power, then you go, you know, positive to your battery and then the ACC, the yellow one, that would be ignition power and then you just do a ground. So because I'm doing it full time power and then I'm just gonna turn it off from the unit when I don't wanna use it, there's a power button right there. It actually came with a remote control, but I don't know how that's gonna work, so. But anyhow, there's a power button and also a remote control, so. And then the wires right here. So we just ran them up under the floorboard, right? So channel one, channel two. Get the power hooked up right there and we'll be good to go. So as you can see, I just kind of ran it through. Ran it through up under the dash here. Excuse me, the hood. And I'm gonna be attaching this fuse right here to the battery. And then we're just gonna kind of zip tie that in place. And boom, that's it. We will have power for the CB and the cameras right after that. Hey, what's up guys? So here we go. So if you see on the trailer, that one is now mounted up. Come back here. Here's the wire running to it. It just goes up into there. So I'm going to route it. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to disconnect it when I unhook the trailer, right? But it's just a screw fitting. So it just takes a quick second. And then I'll coil the wire up. So this toolbox right here, actually gonna mount it right there and I'm gonna put it's dry so I'm gonna put all my moving blankets and stuff that I need to keep dry in there maybe some food and then up top there's the reverse cam so when I'm backing up I can actually see the fifth wheel excuse me the goosenecks gooseneck and then coming inside the truck here so just basically pulled the panel lifted the whole floor panel because the CB radio that's as far as the antenna would reach and uh, yeah so we run the wires through and then there's the wire that we did under the hood and then everything's connected up and then we just had to do a couple of grounds and we just did a self tapper in there so yeah you come in here uh, CB on so the mounting bracket was done, designed for it to sit like this. So what I'm going to do is weld up an L bracket and it's going to mount just like that. So yeah, that's mounting that up, but there's all the wiring. We're just going to tuck everything behind this panel, zip tied up. Let me get up here. So there's the screen. And power on. So there you go. So there's the trailer cam. And then we can do it. There's the backup cam. So obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust that down a little bit more, but it gives me another view. And then I can actually scroll through. I can do them both at the same time. Small view, opposite, or just so it's most likely gonna sit like that. And yeah, there you have it. So once I get that welded in place and that screwed together, that's that's everything done. Oh, we still got to work on the uh, dash cam. So again, that's just 
run out of wire down that so we'll probably just take off that uh whatever that thing's called the uh what was that the a-frame the a-frame uh plastic thing there and route the wire behind there and then plug into the cigarette lighter yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and weld that up right now for the l bracket for the cb radio weld that together install that finish putting all the wires away and we're done So here we go for the bracket. Got to put in the vise here, cut, cleaned up, ready to go. We're just gonna throw a quick, quick bead right there and then pull the vise grips off. And just another bead in the inside and that's it. And again, I'm using this welder from Harbor Freight. Pretty much everything I got is from Harbor Freight. You don't have to spend a lot of money to uh, make things happen. You just have to go out there and do it. So here we go. take the wire brush I don't think I'm gonna put another weld in there obviously it's holding a one pound CV radio so I think that's gonna be enough so that's gonna do it there so we got our bracket ready to go and this is my dad. He's been helping out. Say hi, dad. Hey, audience. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're considered an audience now. All right. So like I said, right there, that's where the bolt's going to mount. The bracket's going to mount. CB goes up. <sighs> All right, guys, so here we go. Let me jump in the truck here. But everything, you saw that, zip tied everything together, put the panel back on. And whenever you're doing panels like these, just be easy when you do it. You know, all you have to do is find the initial one of the slots and then gently push it in. Same with these, you know, just pop one off. You don't have to bang them down. When I was a kid, I used to do that all the time. But 
So if we hop in here again, CB radio, I'll mount it up. Got that going on. Turn that off. And back to, there's a rear trailer cam. And we've mounted everything. I just need to adjust this and that's it. So it's actually really clear. Um, there was there was protective screens on the top of the cameras from the first time I showed you. So it peeled those off. So the picture looks even better now. So again, channel two, that's looking at the top of the trailer slash the fifth wheel gooseneck. I don't know why I keep calling it that, but and we're through. So turn that off. So yeah, like I said, we have it's T minus Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I leave Wednesday morning. So we got four days left to finish this thing. My logos are here. We're gonna go ahead and install those on the side. Got my IFTA stickers to go on. Gonna get rid of the not for hire. Um, still gotta make my window shades for the side. We never ended up finishing that uh, rear view. Or excuse me, the dash cam today, but that'll be done tomorrow. Get that box mounted up and we're starting to fill everything up. You see all my new tarps there. So we're ready to go. So hopefully everyone's gonna check out this journey as soon as we get on the road and go ahead and hit a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.